Now let's take a look at this figure 17-3, and it talks about uh, warning signs on high-voltage equipment. Now notice in the illustration, uh, 110.34C deals with high-voltage uh, labeling. 110.21B deals with field uh, install labeling. And 314.72E is in ed deals with the labeling of junction boxes, pull boxes, and so forth. Now, reviewing the illustration itself, we basically review the note and we're just uh, creating and providing labeling for high voltage mainly in accordance with 110.21b, as in boy, but we tried to outline in the high voltage uh, sections and other sections that you would use when you're uh, labeling uh, high voltage warnings. Now, notice in the danger, high voltage keep out. That's a label that's uh, readily used. But OSHA recommends, you know, uh, that, that you could also use danger, high voltage, authorized personnel only, for example. But notice 110.34C is your really the main section that you're looking at for switch gear, switch boards, panel boards, and things like that. 110.21B now is just uh, fill uh, markings and labeling of equipment. 314.72E, as you see above in the junction box, requires a label. 490.53, 490.46, and 490.48 gets into uh, providing labeling for switch gear, switch boards, panel boards, and things of that nature. Then notice the feeder from the main switch gear to the left routed through the junction box over to a subfed switch gear or switch board. The feeder, the overcurrent protection that you have to provide is in 240.100 and 240.101 and 215.2B is in boy uh, makes it clear that when you review 230.208B the 125% rule for continuous duty does not exist without you just want to put it on. Now, I don't mean to be too simple here, but if we take one and divide it by 80%, then we come up with basically the 125% rule. And for high voltage, it does not apply without you as the designer just want to uh, uh, add 125% on. That's a, that's a choice. That's a call you have to make. But notice these conductors and the conduit routed uh, in that feeder going over to the subfed switchboard or switch gear. Notice that we'd get, we would uh, obtain those ampacities from the new Article 311 from a table that dealt with our installation of those conductors. But the switch gear, switchboard, uh, panel boards, uh, overcurrent protective devices and things, you would, would naturally select from Article uh, 490. And basically, that's exactly what this figure 17-3 is uh, illustrating, is that you do have to identify th uh, these types of equipment that's rated over a 1,000 volts. Uh, you know, some companies will ever... 25 foot or so, they'll uh, spray or paint their conduit red, it, you know, if it doesn't conflict with some other identification uh, of a wiring system. Uh, but they'll put a color on it to identify it so people in the facility working, maintenance people, uh, third-party contractors coming into your site will know and recognize these systems and if they've been called upon to work on systems of less than 50 volts, they will not get into these type of systems accidentally and receive shock or maybe a fatal shock, which we certainly would not want to happen. So service equipment is addressed in 230.205A as well as 230.208, and that's what this figure is illustrating.